location of the emergency. Okay, what's the address? What's happening? June 27th, 2021, in Oroville, Ohio. A woman who's clearly in utter distress calls 911 and tells the dispatcher what just happened. There's two 911 calls here. The first one is about a minute long, and the second one is made by another relative who lives in the home. And uh, let's take a listen. Ma'am, we're getting people dispatched. Tell me what's going on. What happened? Uh, where where did you shoot him? I got to the phone, please. Ma'am. I want to address emergency. I have a shooting at my house. Thirteen drive. I think. Is this a house or apartment? At the house. Okay, you said there was a shooting? Yes. There's okay. blood all over the garage and in the car. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. I was like, my his girlfriend were fighting and some, I think she shot him. Okay. Please come, there's something. Okay, somebody shot somebody at that address. Oh, Just yeah. stand up with me, ma'am. Ma'am, stand up with me. He's, he's bleeding. He's bleeding. I don't know if he's even alive. He's on the police. He's on the Okay, where, where, where is he located at? Laying outside on the, like, outside the garage here. Okay, he's outside the garage. Well, where was yeah. he shot at? Can you tell? Pardon? Where was he shot at? Can you tell? I can't see where he was shot. <laughs> And his chest. And his chest is blood all down his Can you get the squad gone, too? The towel on his. Okay. Where, where, is the, where is the gun right now? Where is the, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You don't see the... the where is the female at right now? She's holding the towel on him. Cause he's, okay. Okay. Is, is, is he awake and breathing, do you know? I... I don't... I don't see. I don't see him. I don't know. Okay, you're at 13 in Orville, correct? 13 driveway, correct. In Orville. Is that? Is, I don't know if he's alive or not. I don't know. He's here. Okay. If, okay. If he's if he's not breathing, we need to do CPR on him. Well, I, somebody just pulled in. You have a police officer there? I think. Okay, ma'am. Right yep. here. Okay, ma'am, I'll let you go, okay? The first person that made that first 911 call is Catherine Tooley. And the second person that made the other call is Louis Eastwood, the owner of the home. So police arrived on the home at around 11.54 p.m. and find 53-year-old Douglas Brigham. He had been shot in the upper torso and died at the scene. By the way, Douglas lived in the house with his mother, Louis, and 44-year-old girlfriend, Catherine. So investigators said that Catherine and Douglas had a physical altercation. Catherine then retrieved a 9mm pistol from Douglas's truck and shot him. They also said that both had been drinking earlier that night. After investigators interviewed Catherine at the police station and consulting with the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, Catherine Tooley was arrested and charged with second degree felonious assault. Oh, and they also didn't say what they were arguing about. And this is what's so bizarre about this case. Catherine Tooley was released the very next day. Prosecutor Dan Lutz said in an email to the Daily Record, With the information we have been able to review so far, my prosecutors and I have not been able to come to a firm conclusion what, if any, are the appropriate criminal charges in this matter. The law requires criminal charges to be filed within 48 hours of a person's arrest to keep them in jail. Tooley had not been arraigned on the felony assault charge. Criminal charges could be filed at a later date. As the investigation evolves and more evidence is evaluated. He also 
said this, which is a law that I've never heard of. Ohio's no stand your ground law would apply in this case. It's simply to say that we are looking at the case in view of our possible laws and possible defenses, including the recently enacted stand your ground law. And with a simple Google search, I found what the stand your ground law means. Ohio became the 36th state to no longer require people to retreat before they can justifiably hurt or kill someone with a gun in self-defense. A law expanding where Ohioans can use lethal force in self-defense went into effect Tuesday, April 6 of 2021. Anyway, I couldn't find any pictures of Catherine or Douglas, but I did find a picture of Douglas's brother, Richard Brigham and he said to the Daily Record we don't think it was intentional on her part none of us believe that I don't know about you guys but if one of my relatives is shot by someone that is not what I would say but then again who knows maybe it was self-defense I couldn't find any other info on this case the info was really minimal anyway the investigation is still ongoing anyway guys that's the video thank you so much for watching um so tired i'm gonna go eat and then watch some horror movies and hopefully get some sleep but yeah thank you so much for watching take care and i'll see you tomorrow bye